What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to show you how to put text on your Pi game window. So, let's get started. But before we get started, I'd like to tell you about a little something called the Rift. So, the Rift is an academic Discord server that provides free help in various subjects, including SAT, ACT, AP and college help. The server offers many features like one-on-one -on -one help and live streams, resources, and much, much more. The server also has other features that allow students to let loose and just enjoy themselves, including chats and sports lounges and a gaming area so you can talk and play with the fellow members of the server at any time. So if you're interested, please make sure to join the Rift. The link is in the description below. And now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So now, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So let's just start with our default Pi game stuff. So import Pi game, and below this, I have one more thing for us that is unique to this video, and this is pygame.font.init. And this just initializes all the libraries in Pygame that have to do with uh, text. And below this, let's just create our window. So I'll call this screen, and I'll set it equal to pygame.display.set underscore mode and in here let's pass in a tuple of just length and width so I'll say um, I don't know let's say 500 and 500 a nice square so now let's set up uh, how we use this um, text so I'll just call this text font and I'll set it equal to um, pygame dot font dot sys font uh, with these capitals and let's pass in a font that I want to use so I'll just say monospace and the comma and after this let's put in our size so I'll I'll just say um, 50 pixels that should be a good size for our screen all right so now let's just set up our main game loop so as you already know, we need to create our boolean variable, so I'll call it running, and I'll set it equal to true. After this, I'll do while running for event in pygame.event.get if event.type equals equals pygame.get quit in all caps you set running to false and outside our while loop let's just say pi game dot quit in lower caps all right now that we have everything set up now let's actually get to putting our text on our pi game window so i'll just call um the text uh, text TBD text to be displayed and I'll set it equal to um, text font um, dot render and in here let's just pass in our strings so I'll say hello world with a smiley face and then after this um, let's put in a comma and I'll just say one, and this is for anti-aliasing, and I really won't get into um, what that is. But for our purposes, that's just going to be one. And after this, we pa we pass in our color. Since our default Pi game background is black, let's just make this text white. So in RGB, white will be um, 255, 255, and 255. And now below this, let's do um, screen dot blit 
And here, let's just pass in our text. So I'll say text TBD. That's the text that we're going to pass in. And after this, let's just pass in our width and our height. So I'll just put in some random coordinates. But remember that the width and the height is always measured by the location of the top left of your whatever you're putting on the top left of that that is where it is located so i'll just you know put it in a nice random location i'll say 100 and 100 for the width and the height all right so let's try running this all right so it seems that we have gotten an error so it says type error in object is not callable so i probably just um screwed up on the syntax for this so let me just check that and I'll be back in a sec. Basically, these parentheses do not belong there. Um, it should just be if event.type no parentheses. So that is my bad. So now let's try running it again. So as you see right now, we just have a black window as our result. And this is probably because I forgot to update the screen. So let me just check. So let's just check our code and see if that's our problem. All right, yeah, so over here, I forgot to update it. So over here, I'll just do pygame.display.update. And now let's try running this. And you see, our text is displaying. Our window just happens to be a little bit short. So there's two things we can do. We can extend the size of our window, or we could just move our text um, to the left a little bit. So I'll do that just to make our text look a little better. But that's besides the point. What really matters is that you know how to um, you know how to display text in Pygame to your Pygame window, and that was the main focus of this um, tutorial. So yeah, here is our new, you know, better, and you can actually see the text this time. So yeah, there is our text and. I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial, and I'll catch you next time. Uh, shout out to Rift. Please go join that Discord, and the link will be in the description below. And that's it for today's video. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.